You won't find many towns in New Jersey with higher property taxes than Ridgewood. It is not uncommon for somebody to be paying twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars a year in property taxes. It's a state that's the poster child for high property taxes. Fifteen months from now, many New Jerseyans could see a reprieve stemming from the federal level. When it comes to restoring SALT, the state and local tax deduction, and getting tax cuts for our hardworking Jersey families, the fight is just beginning. In 2017, Congress passed a SALT deduction cap, limiting the amount taxpayers can write off for state and local taxes to $10,000. That cap is set to expire at the end of next year. Congressman Josh Gottheimer on Monday expressed his continued support for fully restoring SALT. We have to bring the full SALT shaker back and give families a tax cut. On Monday, he launched a soft comment portal on his website for residents to share why salt matters to them. The responses will be collected and used in a report made by his office. Attorney and former state legislator John Wisniewski serves clients in property tax appeals. Many people come to see me because they feel like they're paying too much and because they've lost that deduction. So they believe that one way to address it is by filing a property tax appeals. In many cases, that doesn't work out, but it underscores how you know, this issue touches so many New Jersey families. High tax states like New Jersey stand to benefit from SALT, a deduction that's been active for more than a century. But the real issue is this national debate that uh, more conservative-leaning legislators have that they feel like they are underwriting New Jersey by allowing this deduction. The fact is, is that it's a deduction that's available for all 50 states. Gottheimer says residents have until October 4th to submit their comments. In Ridgewood, Jim Vassell, PIX11 News.